Okay, in this question, we're asked to express the following division of two algebraic fractions as a single fraction in its simplest form. Right, when you get encountered with things like this, first thing to do is to factorise numerator and denominator in both fractions. So let's do that. This whole expression here is equivalent to, or is identical to, well the top is 2x and on the denominator we're going to factorise this, so we're going to have two brackets here and it's going to obviously be a 2x and an x to get me my 2x squared and I need to multiply to negative 5 and add to positive 3x. Okay, so I'm going to make that uh, a plus 5 in here and a subtract 1 in there. That The 5 and the negative 1 multiply to negative 5 5x here and subtract 2x gives me the 3x I'm looking for here. And I'm dividing that, so I'm going to write in my divide sign by this x cubed divided by this here, which I'm going to factorise as x, x subtract 1. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, um, a quicker way to divide fractions is to change it into a multiplication and uh, flip the second fraction. So I'm going to rewrite this as equivalent to 2x divided by 2x add 5, x subtract 1. And now I'm changing that to a multiplied by, um, flipping this fraction here, x, x subtract 1, all over x cubed. Now x cubed, I'm just going to write as x multiplied by x multiplied by x, like that. Okay, now when we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and we put that over the multiplication of the, or the product of the denominators. So on top we're going to end up with a 2, an x, an x, an x subtract 1. I've got an x here and an x here, so I can divide the top by x squared and I can divide the bottom by x squared and I'm just left with 1x. I've also got a factor of x subtract 1 on the numerator and the denominator and I can divide top and bottom by that. So what am I left with? Well on the top I'm left with, just uh, be very careful to, be, uh, to get what's left, I've got a 2 left on the top, I've got a 2x add 5 on the denominator and I've got a leftover x here. So I'm going to write that finally as 2 divided by, um, I'm going to put the x in front, x, 2x add 5. Now under the pressure of an exam you might make a mistake. When you're checking, what I do is I'd substitute something like x is a half into this expression here uh, on your calculator and work out what it is. Substitute x is a half into your answer and then that, uh, if you get the same answer you're very likely that you got the right answer.